let me switch over and show some geometry, and we'll talk about these same kind of concepts there. I have a geometry called geometry mainline. Let's open that. Okay, and so the same thing is happening here with geometry mainline. If I look at my reference attachments, you can see that I have a 2D model that's referencing the 3D model. If I turn that off, I have 2D, and if I turn on my 3D and 2D view, I've got my 3D representation of the geometry out here, and I've got my 2D representation. So I said before that with terrains and with surveys, it makes sense to be working in 3D. And we recommend that's kind of a best practice. Since those are 3D objects, there's no 2D component, go ahead and work in a 3D model with those. But with geometry, and it'll happen also with corridors when we start talking about it, it makes more sense to start off in a 2D model and work in a 2D model and again, let the program manage the 3D views for us. And why is that? Well, horizontal geometry is truly that. It really is horizontal. You know, these lines are only 2D. When you're laying out an alignment curves, these are circular arcs in a 2D plane. And these are, you know, spirals in a 2D plane, right? So it really does make sense to lay out geometry in a 2D. And when I attach a profile to that and set the profile active, it's going to manage and draw that 3D representation of the file for me. So it, with geometry, it's going to be acting the same as with the terrains. It's going to be managing that 3D display for me. With corridors, it's the same. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.